Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mioni here of the Clismcast, and we have more Arcage content for you today. Today we are looking at uh, taming monsters in Arcage. Uh, to do this you will need a mythic taming net for the one we're going for. There is also legendary taming nets. So there are all different types of monsters that you can tame essentially by capturing them with one of these nets. And essentially they will do your evil bidding and will attack pretty much anybody you attack or you can set them to defensive and they'll uh, only attack things that attack you or you can you know, just have them for show pretty much. Uh, as to the viability of pets in this game, uh, there's not really much you can do with them. They're pretty good when they're high level, but they're not entirely game-breaking, as many of their abilities seem rather homogenized uh, as comparison to their early versions in the Korean version of Arcage. As you can see, though, we are making a legendary taming net today. Uh, no, we're not actually. We're making a mythic taming net today, uh, which requires topaz, sapphires, fine leather, and memory ink. As you can see, my waifu has come over and delivered the 20 memory ink that I need for this. So we're going to create one of these nets. This costs 50 labor. Now obviously we're spending about 150 to 200 golds worth of materials here to create this net. Um, and obviously all the labor required to you know, create that fine leather sort of adds into it. And then simply you want to find on the map, uh, this is where we're going, we're going to Cinderstone Moor today to find Darude of the Watcher, which is like a griffin apparently. Um, but uh, me and Rose both agree that this looks like a dragon more than a griffin, but uh, either way it looks pretty damn awesome. So we're going to try and capture this today. So as you can see I took that down fairly simply, uh, obviously we, we don't have a healer here, I'm an abolisher so I can tank this stuff. Uh, if you don't have the ability to tank stuff uh, you might want to bring a healer friend along. He doesn't hit very hard, he's only level uh, 30 but he is obviously a 5 star elite. And it's simply a case of waiting until the mob is about 10% health and then you can right click Woo! on your tank net and this works for Got all him. of them and you pretty much you have a chance oh, of yeah! capturing the mob. Oh, yeah! now, like fortunately for us we managed to get this on our first time uh, a friend of mine uh, actually tried to do this with about 10 nets and failed each time he tried to do this so it's pretty lucky and of course you get the shadow hunter achievement there one of the several you actually get an achievement for collecting all of these as well and um, all of ones on the list you can see the full list uh, where well, you can Google it, but you can also see the full list of uh, monsters you can tame on the actual net that you create. It does list it in the icon, but here we go. Here he is, little dragon man. Now, I personally, I don't think this looks anything like a griffin, um, but yeah, he's pretty cool, actually. Look at the detail on the wings. The red really brings him out. The other um, version of this is a purple one that Rose really, really wants. Uh, we'll try and get that for her uh, at some point in the next week. 
Okay, so this guy has five abilities, Darida the Watcher. He has Strong Blow, which is your normal melee attack that you would expect, nothing out of the ordinary here. He also has the ability of Health Regen, which uh, most of the other pets have as well. He also has Absorb Life. This one's a little bit different. He does uh, a certain amount of damage to a monster and then absorbs life equal to the amount of damage he dealt to it, which is always pretty useful to have, especially when you're, you know, you know, farming mobs. He has a shred here. Shred does uh, an immediate amount of damage, obviously scaling based on his level, and then applies a bleed relative to that for 14 seconds on a target. He also has rotation attack, which, as you saw when I was actually fighting him, means he just spins around and does a larger amount of physical based damage. This is a physical based pet. He does no magic based uh, abilities or uh, damage. You can also uh, completely get a full set of armor for this. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work on him is a saddle, so pretty much every piece of mount armor that you have will work on this if he's the relative level. Uh, apart from a saddle, you need to get a pet battle, um, I can't remember what it's called, a waste or something, to put on instead. But pretty much, he looks amazing. Unfortunately, they didn't skin the armor onto the dragon, but in some ways it looks better without it. It's just a shame that they didn't make something unique for it. But regardless, that's pretty much the dragon. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll let Rose finish this. See you next time on Adventures with Black Rose and Mionia. Sorry, I had to say it like that.